Yo, what's good, guys? Back on the threes court, we got the squad. This is in uh, park rules, actually, so blocks count as one point. You know, just a little something different. Switch it up for a little bit, but I'm going to just let the gameplay run, and I just want to talk about a few things. I, I need to address a few things, a few topics that have been coming up a lot. The first one. Yes, I'm using my glass cleaner. Fucking cry about it. I mean, Jesus Christ. Listen. I love my post score, don't get me wrong, but I love winning more than I love my post score. Oh, post scores are trash on threes then. No, relax. Like, why does everything have to be so extreme with you guys, bro? I used to run with my post score on threes all the time, and we would still fucking run shit just like we do now if you want to step up and get dropped off, then pull up and get dropped off. Let me relax. <laughs> Listen, post scores are still good on threes. Like, some of you guys are like, oh, I get double team right away. Okay, that's a good thing. Then kick it out and your teammate should fucking make the three. You know? Like, oh, I'm getting double team. I'm turning the ball over. Well, that's your fault. Pass the fucking ball. If you're getting double team, good. Somebody's open. But anyways. Listen, pull scores are good on threes as well. Not just twos. But the way we run our offense. Let me rewind it. I'm going to say it again. The way we run our offense, it makes more sense to have a glass cleaner. So that's what I'm going to use. Like, I don't shoot the ball, bro, unless I'm wide open. I don't post up. There is no reason for me to use a post scorer. I'm not the focal point of the offense. The offense is I set fucking screens for tempo to shoot threes. Now, if they cut that off, you know, and he can't get a three off, then obviously I'm going to roll to the hoop. If the weak side help comes, I'm going to kick to the corner for a three for a like I with the lockdown. Or I might fade to the corner and shoot the fucking three myself. But that's the offense, bro. And you can't stop it. I don't care who the fuck you are. If we execute, you can't stop it. Come pull up and get dropped off. Like I said, you can't stop the offense. Now. I'm not saying we never lost a game. Of course we have, but that's our fuck up. We might have missed shots. We might have made a defensive mistake. We might have, you know, whatever. We fuck up. We're human. What the hell? But my point is the offense cannot be stopped if you execute properly. And it just makes more sense to have a glass cleaner. So that's what I'm going to fucking use. I'm sorry. When we run twos and I need to score, then yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna use my post score because it's a lot better... You know, it's a lot easier to score with my post score. And I'm going to speed up this gameplay right here because a bunch of nothing fucking happens for a little while. And y'all don't need to watch two minutes of fucking nothing. Um, we started fucking around and whatnot. But let me address another topic. Now, people don't message me this. They message Tempo this a lot. Talking about he's hiding behind screens. Takes no skill. Like... It's the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard. And maybe some of you say this. Maybe some of you get these messages. It's literally fucking stupid. Like, what do you mean it takes no skill to hide behind fucking screens? Like, I didn't realize this was a fucking non-contact fucking league that we're playing in on a park. Like, what the fuck? Screens are a part of basketball, bro. The Warriors set them. The Cavs set them. The fucking Lakers. The fucking Bulls back when Jordan played. The fucking 76ers when Wilt played. Like... Bro, screens have been a part of basketball since the fucking time basketball started. So stop fucking messaging motherfuckers that they're hiding behind screens. Like, all you motherfuckers that watch Hank the Tank and all this other fucking dribble bullshit. Bro, that shit is so overrated. I am sorry, but that shit is so overrated. That shit does not win games. And I, I don't care. You want to say, oh, I could dribble my ass off. I'll break your fucking ankles. Yeah, go fucking head. Break my ankles and shoot a fucking mid-range jumper. And then we're going to come down. We're going to set fucking 18 screens on your ass. And we're going to hit a three. And you're going to be down 3-2. And the game's going to keep going like that until we have fucking 21 points on seven threes. And you got fucking, you know, 10 points on five two-pointers. Like, good for you, bro. Because you're not going to break my ankles every fucking time. Screens are a part of basketball. Get over it. Stop messaging people that they're hiding behind screens. It's, it's, it's just stupid. Learn how to defend a screen. Play sides. Switch. Fight through it. Go over the top. Go underneath it. You got all these fucking options. And the only option you choose is to get brick walled. And then fucking lay down and get a three splashed in your fucking face. Literally after every game, people message 
tempo. They've even messaged me a few times, and I'm not even the fucking one with the ball. They've messaged me saying, oh, y'all got no skill. Y'all just set screens. Like, what the fuck? You mean you have no skill because you can't defend a fucking screen. <sighs> Rant over. All right. Now, it was about this point in the video. I think in the game chat, you know, we were talking. Temple was like, yo, if I make this, everyone watching this video has to fucking subscribe. So he shot it and boom. That means all y'all got to subscribe. <laughs> Oh, shit. I hope y'all enjoyed the video. The game winner was fucking crazy. I had to rant about them screens, bro. I hope y'all enjoyed. We got more heat coming soon. Please subscribe. That would be, you know, that would mean a lot to me. I'm trying to hit 10K by the summer. That shit would be crazy. 10,000 subs. What? Appreciate it, guys. Love y'all. I'm out. Peace.